everyone welcome back to the spill podcast i'm your host vivian rose so you may hear like a train and like my dogs in the background and stuff because i'm outside today it's such a nice day so i'm going to come outside and film today's episode um i'm really excited about it because it is winter inspo guide and like it's literally like everything about winter and since the other day it was november 1st i am definitely in the winter mood now i'm out of fall i'm winter now so like <laughs> like on the first day of november is winter in my mind and so i absolutely just love it so much and i love like the winter just feeling of winter it's just so cozy and refreshing and just such a nice relaxing feeling in winter fall is the same but i just really like winter because i i do like the cold weather i feel like it's better than hot weather because you know when it's hot, like, you can't really do anything about it. You, you can go in front of a fan, yeah. You can go sit in front of a, like, I don't know, like, something to cool you off or something. You can drink water and stuff. But still, internally, you are burning hot. And so, I like the winter time because when you're cold and stuff, literally all you have to do is just get a jacket, get a blanket or something like that. Like, turn the heater on or something. And it's, I feel like it's so much easier to, like, just, I don't know, just get warm instead of get cold, you know. But anyway, I'm super excited for today's episode. I have it all planned out, and we have two new things that I'm adding to the daily spill um, at the beginning of my episodes, and I'm really excited to share them with you guys. Now let's get right into today's episode. Okay, so first we're going to be talking about, like, you know, the things that I've been doing recently. It's really short. I'm going to be like, I don't know, like five minutes or something. It's really fast. So um, we like to call this section the daily spill. It's really, really cool. And if you are new here, welcome to the podcast. I'm super glad to have you here because I want to grow this podcast a lot. And I want other people, other teenagers, other young adults to be able to reach this podcast because I feel like it's just so relatable, you know, and we all go through most of the same things. So I really want to be able to share this with you guys. Okay, so my favorite song at the moment, this is always an issue. <laughs> um, I just love so many songs. Okay, so I don't even know what this is called, but Die For You by The Weeknd, that is actually a really good song. Like, I don't know if that's what it's called, but I do know that it's like, it played on the radio recently. It's like, I, I don't even know, like, I can't even think of it on the spot, but it's some, like, The weekend song. He, I don't even know if it's called Die For You, but I just know he keeps saying that in the chorus. It's a really good song. I like it. Um, I do like the new Bejeweled video. Taylor Swift, you know, Midnight's just came out, so I'm really excited for her tour because she just announced her tour. I'm deathly excited. Like, I'm a Swifty on another level. Like, I love Taylor so much. Like, I've been listening to her since, like, I don't even know since like elementary school and I'm like in high school now so I love Taylor so much and I think it'd be really cool to go to her concert so I definitely want to go but um Bejeweled video is pretty good it had like all those speak now um references in it it's really cool and this is like a total random one but I've been loving Colors of the Wind Pocahontas okay so let me just explain really fast so my niece she loves like the Disney princess songs she came over to my house the other day and like we had to turn them on for her to keep her sane basically and like colors of the wind came on and i was like oh my god this is like my song so i was singing it and stuff and i was like this is such a good song and i was just oh my god it's, it's so good so good i love that song um but my mood of the week is great like i've been doing a lot of productive things i'm getting a lot of school work done a lot of homework a lot of studying i've been getting like a lot of things done like i've been waking up on time at seven o'clock like i'm supposed to be um i've been doing my yoga my workouts my jogs eating healthy like literally everything that i've been wanting to do i've been doing it this week so it's really really nice to have like a nice productive week because it's very motivating um what i've been up to lately is not too too much because like I haven't done much because I've just been at home kind of just like being productive at home and I have a lot of tests that I had to do this week and it is Friday I'm recording this on Friday let's see what date it is November 4th so it's Friday and I just I had a lot of tests to do this week so I want to stay home pretty much the whole week because it's like geometry world history I had a lot of tests to do I did well on them actually really well but I'm just like I, I'm the type of person who if I have something to do I want to stay home and prepare for it and then do what I want to do. So that's what I did basically all this week, just doing schoolwork. Um, I did record another podcast episode on Monday, and uh, I think that's pretty much it. I've been uploading videos and shorts and more stuff on my Pinterest lately. 
But that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm out here hanging with Prada. If you don't know who Prada is, which means you probably don't even follow me on my YouTube channel. Like, who are you? No, I'm kidding. So, like, um, that's my puppy. She's a Yorkie. She's around three years old. I love her so much. Anyway, so the two things I'm adding to the Daily Spill is the book I'm reading currently. I love books so much. I just love to read. And so the book I'm reading right now is Princess Diaries. So it's just like the movie, but in book form. And there's, like, different series of Princess Diaries books. So, like, I absolutely love reading those. They're really nice books. I'm reading the one, something about coming out of the spotlight or something. I can't even remember. I just know it was a Princess Diaries book, and I bought it. Love it so much. And, yeah, so I, there's one more thing I wanted to add to this whole daily spill thing and it is actually kind of like little reviews and they're not like from apple podcast or spotify or something they're just people like my mutuals from pinterest that um have said nice things about my podcast and so i'm not going to quote it word for word because i can't remember what it is word for word and i should have had it pulled up but like you know i'm slow so next week i promise i'll have it under control but i'll just do one today so I actually follow this girl on Pinterest. Her at is something to do with Rory Gilmore, I want to say. Um, she's on my Pinterest, but just check it out. And I, I, can't remember, I can't remember her at right now. I literally just got done doing a workout. So, like, my brain is kind of, like, sleepy right now. But, yeah, so it's something to do with Rory Gilmore. And she was like, your podcast is so cool. And I feel like that was just so nice, so sweet to say, so simple, but so sweet. And people don't really like know how much that means to me because I'm like, are we talking about the same podcast here, the same one that I just started? And like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just feel like it's it's so good. And it's just so nice for people to say nice things about my podcast and like the things I'm putting hard work into. So I just want to say thank you to everyone who has said something nice for my podcast. And next week I will share another one like a sweet little review that I've gotten on it before but time to get into the actual episode winter inspo guide so I'm doing this video I'm so used to being a youtuber <laughs> I'm doing this ep episode kind of early because I actually like I like to get my stuff ready for winter kind of early like my room all that stuff early because that's when like the YouTube videos start going out and I like like that's when you get more views on YouTube and stuff um if you do things early like back to school time back to school prime time probably August when everybody goes back but you start making the videos in mid late July that's when you get a lot of views on it so this is like um kind of what I'm doing when not to get a lot of views just to give you guys kind of like relatable content before it's really time for winter so we're gonna start off with the fashion section they're separated into different sections i have about five sections to go over i have a lot of stuff in them so i'm super excited they are jam-packed with all the different cool things i'm super excited for you guys to you know hear about them and like just check it out so let's get right into the episode okay so we'll start off with the section fashion so this is like winter fashion basically if you need any more inspo than what i'm saying today about fashion go check out my pink winter pinterest board my pinterest is always linked in the show notes just go click it and it has like all the different inspiration boards that you may need in your life so first thing is make sure to wear like and buy a good set the legendary combo ever scarf gloves and earmuffs i love me some good white chunky earmuffs so much i actually just got some off of sheen i if you follow my pinterest and you've seen them before i love my earmuffs so much i got them off of sheen for like two bucks and my sister actually got her from hers from forever 21 i believe they were 8.99 which is kind of like a huge difference but the thing is you're paying for quick delivery so you know like at forever 21 you just go in there get it you're done but then on Sheen, you have to wait like two weeks, and so it did take like two weeks to get my earmuffs. So it's kind of like you're kind of battling it out delivery fee or just pay it. So I just bought the two dollar ones off of Sheen and I waited because I have no problem waiting <laughs> for stuff. And I ordered it early so I can have them for all of my winter inspo and stuff like you know, my little, little winter outfits, photo shoes. But I love scarves, gloves, and earmuffs. They actually have like a whole set at Target right now absolutely love it they have like the cutest little like designs on them they have like strawberries the perfect like you know that pretty green that's been trending lately that green and they have like the prettiest Roy Gilmore reds and so they're just so beautiful I definitely recommend checking those out because they're actually pretty cheap and they have like hounds tooth and stuff so classy you know um and they have like a lot of cute um gloves at Walmart actually which is very surprising because you know Walmart is just Walmart you know and then like I feel like they have a lot of cool stuff there too um they're stepping up their fashion game which is really nice 
Next is moon boots. I, oh my god, I would die for a pair of moon boots. I want some right now. I've been looking for moon boots since like the summertime because I've been wanting them for winter and I'm losing my mind because I can't find any some like any pair of them that is my size and my color that I want and that's not over $500 because I'm on Depop like all the time. They are always on Depop for like 100 to $200 for like the used ones. And if you want like brand new ones on Depop, they're like three, four hundred. dollars $500 so expensive but they come in all colors my favorite ones are pink white and black though I love the black and white because they go with everything so if I get a black pair they go with everything white pair they go with everything as well but and then the pink pair is just so cute and like feminine and stuff they're just so cute so I'm probably gonna get like a white or black pair because they can go with more of my outfits which is mostly important and yeah so like I'm trying to find a size eight and a half which is my size I don't even know how those shoes fit since they're like you know like those big boots i'm usually eight eight and a half nine if they're boots so i may just do like an eight or something i don't know but i'm super excited because i want to get some and i've been looking all over depop i just have to get some like i have to so i'm definitely gonna get some of those next is to look out for black friday deals all november long because literally you can get new laptops headphones and like so much other stuff from walmart and target i have the walmart and target app and they always send me emails and like different notifications about you know their black friday deals going on since it's november prime time for black friday and so i i'm like so excited for their technology and stuff to go on sale because they have beats on sale right now y'all i love me some good headphones because Mm. headphones just give me a certain feeling you know i just love headphones so much they could cover your ears you know so you can't hear anything like you can't hear anything anybody is saying because you're just like got headphones on and you're just like blocking out the world for like like a good 30 minutes super nice i love it and so i definitely recommend shopping for black friday headphones because literally i had the beats for a hundred bucks usually 200 there took a hundred dollars off and they're on walmart and target i want to get the rose gold pair so bad because i love beats i didn't get them last year and i still regret that to this day but like i just have so many expenses coming up i'm not even like an adult i just have so many expenses coming up because i look i'm gonna go to the taylor swift concert where those tickets start at 47 dollars and so i want to go to the taylor swift concert and for me to get a good seat i'm gonna have to spend like a good 150 200 dollars and then i want those headphones then i want a like a laptop and stuff on black friday i can't buy all this stuff because laptop ain't cheap either and so like oh my god those birds are so pretty did you hear it oh my gosh i should gonna do it again Let's see no not again okay but seriously like oh there it is Okay, I love when birds tweet. They're so cute. They're so pretty. Um, but if you didn't hear anything, the birds are talking to me, <laughs> um, which is absolutely crazy. But because I'm like Pocahontas, you know. So yeah, <laughs> um, I seriously like having a huge crisis right now because I want to buy Taylor Swift tickets, but I also want Beats headphones, and I just I want both. I have JBL headphones and AirPods Max. I know, <laughs> I know. I have Apple Air Fox Max in the green color. I have like an unboxing on my YouTube channel and Pinterest. So go check it out. But like, oh my God, I want Beats too, you know? And like, I don't mean that any like bragging type of way, but seriously, I like, I really like Beats. My older sister has a pair and they're like incredible. They're noise canceling. Like the Air Fox Max are noise canceling too, but I don't know, it's just something so nostalgic about Beats for me. Um, I want Beats and the gross gold ones. But I have JBLs and AirPods Max, so there's not really a need for them. So I guess I could just get the tickets. Yeah, I could. So I'm trying to see if I'm even going to go because, like, I don't know. Like, just so many things to, like, talk about. Like, I could talk about the whole situation with Taylor Swift coming on tour for hours and hours. There's just so many, like, there's just so many things to talk about. And, like, they just go on sale so fast. Like, it's already November 4th. They go on sale, like, on the 8th, y'all. Like, the 8th. And it's just insane. Like, I just wish they gave us, like, six months in advance. You don't have to give me six months. Give me, like, a month in advance. I can come up with some good money, like, real fast. Anyway. Oh, my God. I didn't think I for I think I forgot to tell you guys. I said it in my YouTube video. Um, but if you didn't watch it, I literally am getting a new phone. So, like, all of my videos have been iPhone X, iPhone X, iPhone X. I have an iPhone X, apparently. <laughs> and so, like, obviously I have iPhone X, and it's going really slow. And one thing that I just get so set off 
about is a slow technology. Like, I'm, I'm dead serious. Slow technology sets me off. Like, Netflix, I can't even watch Netflix because it's so slow. Like, me just trying to turn it on, it's just so glitchy and stuff. I just, I, mm, I can't watch Netflix because it just gets me so upset and I'm not about to get upset at the TV. And so, I'm getting a new phone. Guess which one I'm getting? 13 Pro Max. Uh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited because I love the 13 Pro Max. The big fat cameras on the back, they're just so beautiful. And like, I don't know, it's just, oh my god, it's so perfect. I'm going to do a whole video about it. How did I get from Black Friday deals to this? Okay. Next is Wildflower Winter Phone Cases. I love Wildflower Phone Cases so much. They're like the iPhone of phone cases. They're like, you know, like the Mercedes and Cadillac of phone cases. Like, they are so nice. Like te Let me just say Tesla. That in a discussion. They're Tesla of phone cases. I love, like, the Wildflower Phone Cases are so beautiful to me. I have one on my phone right now. And... I have the pink latte one, if you're wondering, but I actually love Wildflower phone cases. They come out with so many new drops all the time, and they just came out with someone that's like a ballerina, kind of, ballerina kind of inspired, I guess. It has like pink bows all on them. It's a white case with pink bows on them. Adorable. If you're like a huge coquette kind of like person who loves stuff like that, you're going to die over it. It's like the cutest thing ever. Like, I love it so much, and I definitely want to get one for my new phone 13 pro max so the only thing is that 13 pro max cases are kind of more expensive than iphone x cases which is like it's not that bad i guess but i'm not trying to spend too much money on the phone cases right now because i already bought a lot of phone cases off machine and bought below and i don't want to spend too much money on it because my phone's already like thousand dollars and stuff kind of like so like now you see the crisis i'm talking about the taylor swift concert and stuff now you see what i'm saying okay anyway you need a chunky rory gilmore sweater in your life this winter everybody knows you see Gilmore, if you haven't even watched Gilmore Girls, which if you're like me and you haven't even watched Gilmore Girls before, you know the sweater, okay? Like, you, if you're on Pinterest and if you are basically living in this world, you know what the Rory Gilmore chunky white creamish sweater is. It is like the cutest sweater ever. So chunky, so oversized, so cute. I love it so much. And I'm yet to find my own. And like, I'm thinking I'll find one at Forever 21 or something. It's just, oh my God, so cute. I love them so much. And I definitely want one. Um, just literally look up um, Rory Gilmore sweater on there. I'm sorry I took a pause for a second. Like, that was so weird. I took a pause for a second because my dog is by, like, our attention pond. And, like, I don't know what. It, we have another. We have four dogs. Okay. One is Burberry. He's a guy. We only have one guy dog because the other one died. Mm, so sad. He was a dad, but this is the son, Burberry. He's getting, like, wrapped up in things. He is so bad, y'all. He'd be, like eating green stuff i don't even know what he's eating at this point but i just was checking on him for a second that's why i zoned out but and then we have prada which is my puppy she's the cutest little thing prada is my favorite mm. y'all i i'm so sorry i get like this like i just like okay prada is my favorite brand that is exactly why i named my dog prada and i love her so much then we have fendi she is prada's sister they're all family like they're all from the same bunch um, and then we have Dior. She's the mama of all of them. And the dad, his name was Bentley. It was so cute. But Dior is the mama of all of them. We have Burberry, Prada, Fendi. They're all still alive in Dior. But Bert Bentley, sadly, passed in 2020. So it's really sad. But oh, life goes on, you know. And so, like, I just really love him. And I'm super glad we of all the time we had with him. So grateful for that. But anyway i love doc martens like that's the next thing don't think i'm just saying random stuff that's the next thing on my list doc martens are so cute in the winter time just so cute with such a little rory gilmore chunky sweater love it so much i love me a good pair of docs gucci and chanel tights so you know like those like tights and stockings that say gg on it or cc obsessed like i love those tights so much my mom has gg pair i'm like mom can i have them or just at least use them and she's like no because I, I have a bad experience with tights and stockings. I always, for some reason, get holes in them. And so, like, I don't even know how that happens because I'm so careful with my stuff. Especially my clothes. My clothes are my babies, y'all. Like, mm. I love them as much as I love my dogs. I love my clothes, my purses, everything. And so, I just, like, I want a pair so bad. I think I'm going to get one. Like, a pair of the Gigi ones. I want a Gigi ones. I may get some this winter or before the year ends. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get a pair. They're so cute. 
Next is wear fur and chunky sweaters. I know we already talked about chunky sweater things, but that is the sewer right there. Oh my god. The sewer's so loud. Anyway, so fur is such a big thing in wintertime. Like it is like the cutest thing ever. Like you know you wear the fur coats. Of course not real animal fur because we're not like animal killers around here. I have four dogs in my house right now. They'd attack me if they knew I was wearing animal skin stuff. Plus, like we don't do that. You know, it's kinda mean. And so um, of course, we wear, like, the, you know, the vegan leather, vegan fur, stuff like that. But I absolutely love fur jackets, those fur trench coats, fur bags, fur headbands, fur everything is my life, basically. Like, I have, like, a whole Pinterest board under my fashion world one that's, like, all fur clothes. Love it so much. Fur skirts. I go on for days. That's how I loved, like, the 90s style because, like, it was all about fur. I love it so much. Time to the next section. I don't even know how I got tongue-tied over that. Like, that's the easiest sentence ever. Okay, next section is room. So, to decorate your room, I love using LED and fairy lights because they have fairy lights at Walmart. Like, every year, they go on sale for, like, a buck. Like, literally, like, a dollar. And it's, like, a big pack of them, too. It's, like, two packs all in one. And I get them, like, all the time. I love them so, so much because they're, like, the cutest little addition to your room. And they make it look so, like, you know, just so, like, cute and cozy and stuff. Also, LED lights. I love those, too. I always have some issue with LED lights, though. Like, I don't know what it is. I always have a problem with LED lights, for real. I love very lights, too, though. Cozy blankets and pillows on your bed. Especially those chunky blankets, you know? Like, oh, my God. I love me a good, like, knit, crochet, chunky blanket the cutest thing ever love it pillows like i love the fur pillows i have so many fur pillows on my bed right now i love zebra animal print stuff like that so i have like zebra print pillows on my bed as well next is to get squishmallows they're the cutest thing for your bed like everybody knows what squishmallows are but they're just like the cutest thing you know um white or cream flowers i love getting like vase okay so i legit had to stop recording because this dog next door keeps barking at my dog and my dog will lose its mind it's just crazy so i had to stop for a quick second but now we're back to the episode so white or cream flowers i love getting white or cream like especially fake flowers because they live for the whole winter time you know um <laughs> they're from hobby lobby they had a 66 percent off sale going on the time i went so i got some really cheap cute flowers from my room i got a vase from um goodwill so i brought my dog inside because he was getting my nerves like he kept barking and stuff while he knows i'm recording okay he doesn't know i'm recording but i am recording and yeah so turn on the fireplace crackling thing on youtube like literally just turn it on you know that video i'm talking about like they play it every year just literally type in fireplace crackling on youtube like on youtube and then like literally it'll just pop up all these different like they're the same things but like they're different times so if you want to leave it on 10 hours the 10 hour one um five hour five hour one hour like they're just so cool and you can hear like the fire crackling and stuff I know, like, I like listening to that during the day, but not at night, because, like, at night, I'm such a paranoid person, and I'll be like, oh my god, it's a fire, so I'll get, like, really shooken up. Um, next is to buy a snowflake garland, because, I mean, you don't have to, but it's just, like, a suggestion, because they have this all the time at Target in the dollar section, like, three bucks, cutest things ever, love them so much. Next is the activities, so this is, like, this whole cute little section to do with your friends or by yourself, whatever you want. So drinking hot cocoa is such a festive little winter thing to do. Cutest thing ever, really. Like, it's, it just take pictures of you drinking it, like, giving. And so I love hot chocolate anyway. It's so good. Like, I love anything chocolate. Like, mm, I love me some good Hershey's, you know? Like, I know it's so cringy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm so cringy. I love Hershey's, though, for real. So good. So, I really like hot cocoa. I love the Swiss Miss ones the best. And, like, I thought everybody drank Swiss Miss until, like, recently. I've seen a lot of people drink other brands. And I was like, there's other brands of hot chocolate? Um, anyway, next is Bonfire Party. So, like, you're, you can even host one yourself. Like, my friend, um, I won't say her name because I don't know. I can't say her name. Um, but my friend, she had a bonfire party at her house. And so, like, I met a lot of new people. I had a lot of fun and stuff. And, like, I like a lot of different people's numbers. Um, we ate s'mores and stuff. I couldn't eat too many s'mores, which makes me super upset. Because I got braces, you know. Braces. Why are you going to do me like that? Like, <laughs> those braces. I cannot bite into the s'more. My brackets will literally break off. So, like, I had to, like, deconstruct it. It was so good. I only ate, like, one because it was, like, 
so much work to deconstruct it um and like it's super fun to do things at like those bonfire parties drink hot chocolate there we watched kind of the new taylor swift midnight's videos there too super super fun loved it um next is ice skating ice skating is so fun i absolutely love ice skating i've never done it before but i'm pretty sure i love it actually i don't know because i'm like a really bad person when it comes to balancing like i can do regular skates but like ice skating like rollerblading no like i'm i'm already it's already pushing me riding a bike like <laughs> i'm not a good person when it comes to balance and so like i can't i can balance things in my life like do i eat too much no i'm not talking about that i'm talking about like balance like my feet balance and so like i'll try i definitely want, I definitely want that to be something that i'll try this year super super fun like i see it all the time on movies pinterest everywhere next is shopping shopping is never out of season shopping is my life <laughs> i love 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 times a hundred shopping so so much it is like it means everything to me seriously i love shopping like clothes shopping technology shopping groceries i love it all like but mainly clothes and technology i love shopping for those two things those are my favorite i love shoes like oh my god if you saw my room i should do a room tour but if you saw my room you'd be like what the heck like you have so much stuff like yeah i know and so, like, it's funny because I actually just got rid of some stuff, but it don't even look like it. Um, but, like, literally, my, my clothing racks, they're running out of space. I'm going to have to find somewhere to put my new clothes and stuff because I can't hang up any more clothes. I'm going to have to find out, like, what I'm going to do with that. But last thing in the activity section is photo shoots for Pinterest and Instagram. So, I absolutely love doing photo shoots. Definitely recommend doing it. It's super, super fun. Super nice. You know, just buy those cute earmuffs. Like, get, like, the snow. Throw it up pose got a picture got a new profile photo basically i absolutely love doing photo shoots for winter time so cute um next to the they're me oh my god there i am messing up the transition again not me messing this up again okay next is events that are kind of in the winter time so end of the year sales at fast fashion stores i don't care what you say i love fast fashion with my heart i love forever 21 i love claire's i love fashion Nova. i love charlotte roos i love aeropostal like american evil i love all those places and you can't make me not love them <laughs> i love all those places so much like don't get me wrong i love luxury stores they rain i love prada dior louis i like louis too but i like prada dior Balenciaga, mew mew those type places i love them so much but I still love my fast fashion store. It was like also my babies, you know? Like I told you I love clothes and fashion, so just agree with me. So I love fast fashion anyway. And I'm the type of person, I'm not going to ball all my money like on Forever 21 clothes because I know how to spend it the right way. So I may buy some shoes from Forever 21, then I'll buy, buy a shirt from like American Eagle or buy like, you know, just split up my money in different good purchases. Um, a next and the last thing in the event section, these sections are super small. Next and last thing in the event section is New York Fashion Week in January. So we already had our first New York Fashion Week in September. Okay, I may be getting this wrong. Don't quote me. I saw this on the internet. They said there's two fashion weeks and the one's in September, one's in January. I could have sworn I was losing my mind. I was, oh my God, like I felt like I, when it comes to New York Fashion Week, I never know when it is like it makes me so upset because I want to plan to go I want to do some fun for it but like I never can remember when the heck it is like seriously like I thought I was literally losing my mind losing my whole mind actually there's two of them I'm not losing my mind I'm not losing my mind at all like I I thought there's only one of them so there's one in September and then there's one in January. And so I watched Fernanda Ramirez's vlog every single year going to New York Fashion Week. And I thought that was the only fashion week. But I keep seeing people talking about it in September. So I'm like, when is the second fashion week? Like, it drives me insane. And so I finally figured out I'm okay now. I'm staying again. But I'm just like, it, was, it just had me going crazy. Like, absolutely crazy. I did not know when the second one was. It was just like, I love New York Fashion Week, but I didn't know when it was um next is your phone and this is also the last section this is your phone like what to do clean out all your pictures your whole phone basically go through your pictures from the previous year you know the year that we're getting rid of now um go through it delete pictures you don't need delete all the screenshots she never used probably i have like eight thousand photos I, that's actually really good eight thousand pictures i used to have fifteen thousand 
I don't even know why. Like, to be honest, I don't know. But my new phone, I'm getting 512 probably. Because I have 64 on my iPhone X. I'm getting 512 probably. I have, to, I have to. Have to. Because it's just, I keep running out of space, you know? But delete, like, any apps, any notes, any phone numbers, any contacts, toxic people that you don't want in your phone anymore. Best time to do it. Prime time. And then delete all the different pictures you may not want anymore. Change your lock screen, home screen, something for winter. Winter is, like, the cutest season ever for winter home screen and lock screen. You can literally get, like, the cutest different, like, oh, my God. Like, how do you even talk? Like, get the cutest different phone charms and stuff with like snowflakes on them. Get, like, the cutest, like oh my god love them so much like literally like you do so much for your phone for winter time i have like a whole winter board on my pinterest like i was saying earlier and i'll i have like all the different lock screen ideas on there and stuff i love it so much totally go check it out go look at it super super cool oh my god there's a squirrel trying to run for its life my dog is chasing it um yeah she's absolutely insane and it's crazy i have yorkies but they still taste i don't even know but I absolutely love changing my home screen lock screen. I change it about a good once a week. I change stuff all the time. But um, I absolutely love changing my home screen lock screen. But that is basically the end of the video. Let me talk about something really, really, really fast. So I have a small business. It's called Stylish Trends. I would love for you to check it out. It's in the show notes linked there. It's called Stylish Trends. Click it in the show notes. Check it out right now because it is the coolest thing ever. Like I... It is for all like my Pinterest whisper girls, like all my, you know, coquette, pity flies, princesses. All it's for us, you know. We haven't had a brand that is for us, so I got one for us that loves '90s style, 2000s. Should we listen to me? I just said end of the video. Oh my god, end of the episode. I'm so sorry, but like seriously about my business. It's called Stylish Trends. Link in the show notes. Like it's all like the cute '90s, 2000s aesthetics, all the cute pinks and stuff. I have a new collection coming out so soon. Also, I'm gonna be doing a Black Friday sale. Like whole store gonna be like what? Like I don't even know yet. My dog won't be quiet. I'm losing it. <laughs> that is Dior. She came out here. Um, but, like, I'm going to do, like, a Black Friday sale. Stay tuned. I have a Pinterest page for that, my business, too. So, it'd be in the show notes. Follow it. Check it out. And, yeah, so just check it out, you know. Um, but that is the end of the episode. Thank you so much for listening to this week's episode. I love you so much. Thank you so much. Check out my YouTube channel, show notes, too. I post on there once a week. I probably post on there twice a week while I'm playing. Like, I post shorts on there all the time. Follow my Pinterest for behind the scenes. I post on there, like, every day. I'm frequent on there all the time. Let's be mutuals. Follow me on there. See you guys in the next one. Bye!